contact information up there. Um, I'll let you guys see that for a second. I've been at Rose Holman for nine years. Uh, we are an engineering school. Just quick thing about our school. That's all of our majors. That's all the salaries our kids make when they graduate. They all make more than me. So if you got a super smart kid that wants to study science, math, technology, um, let me know. I'm gonna take you through um, my playbook and we're gonna talk about our movements. In the last uh, four years since we went to 335 personnel, we've actually led the nation in division three in, in sacks per game. And uh, we're second in the nation in sacks per game and tackles for loss. And we have a bunch of smart kids with 33, 34 ACTs that are all on a study engineering, but we try to make things super simple. So we created a system where we actually yell in the fronts um, because we run over 80 different fronts. Um, we'll signal movement and signal coverage, but tonight I'm going to talk to you about how our kind of fronts marry in with our movements. So we're going to start with our three letter rule. Essentially for our three letter rule, our DNs and our tackles know at the end of the play, no matter where they line up, that they need to get into their butt in the B gap. The nose guard needs to work opposite, all right? So this for us is falcon mid, all right? Birds tell us three down fronts, all right? So that's the front. And then mid tells us that our mic is coming on a three letter. So the mic's involved because the word has an M. It's three letters, so all my D linemen know where they end up. The linebackers then know what their gap is. Um, and then for this, we consider this like a bare front on the snap. So the mic is the C-gap player, the Bob's the C-gap player, and our will will play flow of the tailback. So that's just your traditional odd stack. So then we go from there, and this is how we get into um, four eyes. So that for us is called a toucan. Um, it tells us that our, our D lineman, the toucan's a bird, tells us that they're on four eyes inside the tackle. So that's why it starts with a T. But now we're running mid. So they know they need to end up in the B gaps. They're already there. The nose needs to go opposite the mic. All right. Again, this is mid. So I'm going to show you just really four plays today, but out of eight different fronts and how it looks different. So here is our 404 front. All right. We call that hawk head up. All right. Head up um, starts with uh, an H. Uh, Hawk starts with an H. Make it really simple for these smart kids. Um, but so we're head up 404. All right. The mic's rushing the C gap, the tackle on the end. No, the rule, all right, and on a three letter word is to be a B gap player, knows, knows the work opposite. So then, all right, um, insects for us tell us to get into like a broken stack look. So here we're in a, uh, we call it a seven a four eye, uh, a shade, and a five. And again, everyone follows the rule. So it's a three letter rule. So the end and the tackle, at the end of the play, no matter where they line up, are gonna be B gap players. The nose is gonna work opposite from the mic. And now my mic is rushing the C gap, right? He's doing, you know, this never changes for him um, in mid. Now the Bob is on line of scrimmage. If it is a run, he'll fit the C gap. If it's a pass, then he drops to his coverage responsibility. So then let's talk about, and we play about 40% three down, 40% four down, 10% five down, 10% six down. So now we're in our four down front, all right? Um, and this is where our D end, whoever our five technique is gonna be is a C gap player. So that for us, that category is a fish, all right? So flathead sets it to the field because um, flathead starts with an F, field starts with an F. So we're in our flathead mid. So our mic rushes the C-gap, that's his rule. The end and the tackle both end up in the B-gap no matter where they are. And then your nose long sticks here. Sometimes if we got a slower nose, we'll, we'll make a shade adjustment and he'll work the shade. The bob, if it's a run, he fits his gap. If it's a pass, he drops for coverage. And for us, our bob is a hybrid linebacker, all right? So we feel really comfortable with him dropping in coverage. So now, not all of these, we do, like I don't run this, but this is just, we teach this to our system and then our kids run those rules. So if I wanna have a D gap um, defensive end, those are mammals for us. So monkey, all right, for us, monkey tells us that our, our end and our mic go to the Y because monkey has an M and has a Y. So mic to the Y. Everyone follows the rule, Mike rushes the C gap, the end, the tackler, B-gap players, and those works opposite. 
the bob is either fitting the C in the run or dropping on pass coverage. So now five down fronts for us, all right, a bare front are vegetables, all right. Beat tells us that we are setting our vegetable front, front to the boundary. All of our fronts are tied into where our bob and our tackle go, all right, unless otherwise stated. But so our bob and tackle are to the boundary, all right. So here is beat mid. Mike rushes the C gap. The end and the tackle are both B gap players. Nose works away. The bob would fit here on the run. My rover would fit here on the run. Um, and then if it's a pass, he's dropping out in coverage. So then, all right, we have our herbs and spices. It gets pretty ridiculous. But um, so mace is a, uh, I think an herb, um, mace mid. So all these are our four down fronts with our mic walked up, okay? So this is how we can get some different movement paths. Again, remember the rule, the mic rushes the C gap, the end and the tackle are B gap players, the nose works opposite, the bob would fit here on the run because that's his gap on a pass he drops. Um, so these guys kind of have a nice conversation, all right? And we'll say that a C gap defender goes first, all right, and the mic goes second. So we get a little bit of movement here. Now, what's easy is I can just make this word uh, BAM, which is, B A M, and I can get my Bob to go. So that's kind of how our system is created. All right. So if the word has a B in it, now we're just a five man rush. Okay. And our will would be playing the tailback and man, we'd be playing some sort of man coverage. So the last thing here in our mid package would be our six down. So when we want our backers outside in six down, we call that orange because orange starts with an O, outside starts with an O. So here is orange mid. Mike rush to C, end in the tackle are B gaps, nose works opposite. All right, Bob would fit here, obviously. Will would fit here if it's a run. If it's a pass, they're dropping to their coverage responsibility. And then we have six down fronts where we'll put our backers inside. This is banana for us, telling us that our Bob and tackle are set to the boundary. And then fruits tell us that our Will and our Mike just walk up to their gaps. So here's banana mid, the end and the tackle are B gap fitters, the nose works opposite. Your mic is a C gap rusher, all right? Your Will and Bob are dropping on pass. They'll fit their gaps on the run. Again, if I called this BAM, then just my Bob and, and my mic are rushing. So that is three letter rule for us, okay? Here is a four letter rule, okay? So our four letter rule is the nose will go opposite of the backer, the tackle on the end are C gap players. So it's just the opposite, and I'll zoom in here a little bit for you. But here is out of our odd front. So our mic rushes the B gap because that's his gap and run. Nose works opposite, tackle and end or C gap fitter. So here it is out of the four eyes. We really like this against zone because people sit, think, you know, they're going to sit here in combo and then the combo kind of disappears, which is kind of um, nice. So everyone just follows the rules as we go through. Um, and so our D line know, hey, it's four letters. Whether it starts with a B or has a W or has an M in it, I know that I'm going to end up in the C gap at the end of the play. So here is Hawk Mill. So we're head up, and they know tackling in. I'm C gap players. Nose works away, and then my mic rushes his gap. Here's out of our broken stack. So we're a seven four I. All right, we call this a beetle because it's set to the boundary. All insects are our broken stack. Here's our shade. There's our end. So end and tackle become C got players, nose works opposite, Mike is rushing the peak. Here it is out of our four down front with a C gap defensive end. So the one adjustment we'll make is if you have a C gap uh, run defender right now, you don't need to rush to the C gap. You can um, kind of rush a four I because if it's a run, the Bob's gonna fit the C. We don't need both of you guys right there. So he'll rush on a pass, like a four eye pass, four contained. But they just follow the rules. I'm a C gap player, I'm a C gap player. I gotta get opposite from the mic and the A gap and the mic just rushes this gap. So here it is out of a, um, a D gap um, defensive end, his rule, I'm a C gap player, I'm a C gap player. I gotta work opposite the mic, all right, we're bringing the mic. And then I haven't drawn this up, but the opposite of mill is bike for us. So it's the same thing with the Bob. We do well and wrap and well, it tells the nose to go left and the will goes opposite. Wrap 
tells the nose to go right. Well has an L, nose go left. Rap has an R, nose go right. So here it is out of uh, our bare front. So the mic, the end and the tackle, now they're C-gap players. All right, nose works opposite. Here we go, mic first, end second. All right, always the C-gap defender first and the B-gap defender second. So we run this stunt um, in, our, in our four down front, we call it a country. But in this situation, all right, if we call beat mill, everyone in our program knows exactly what's going on. And this allows us to kind of play positionless defense because all six players in the box understand the rules. So I could have six linebackers out here right now. I technically could probably have 60 linemen. We probably wouldn't want to drop any of those guys in coverage, but everyone in our box understands the rule in the system. So here's our four down front with a walk up. We call this Mace Mill. Mike rushes his gap. Nose works opposite the end and the tackle end up being C gap defenders um, on a pass. We'll drop the bob if it is a pass. And then here is our six down front. So Mike rushing the B, the end and the tackle are C gap rushers, and those working opposite. All right. And then here is with our backers inside. Mike's already in his gap, the end's already in his gap, the nose needs to work opposite the tackle. Again. I've never ran this, but if we show the kids they understand the system, if we want to, we can do this. So here's how we long stick run some NCAA stuff. So our five letter rule tells us that, all right, our mic, and this is nice teaching because I tell the mic, hey, money, all right, it's five letters, but that is mid for you. That is mid for you. It's mid for the nose. The only thing different is Money talks to the D end, to the mic, all right? In this situation, he long sticks to the A, but tackles a C gap defender. Now it tells my Will, I own that gap in the run. Tells my Bob, I own that gap in the run. So everyone right now, regardless, knows where everyone's fit in the box because everyone understands the rule. So this kid could play that spot, that spot, and he really could play this spot for me. So here's out of the four eyes. We get a little short stick, nose works opposite. My four eye knows it needs to become a five and my mic's rushing the edge. Here it is out of our broken stack. So we're seven, four eye, shade, five, mic off the edge. And then with this, all right, we can do things like Atlas, all right, it's a five letter word that has the T. We call the A, all right, the tailback in the system an A. So I can go Atlas and we would say, let's bring the five letter version of our stack backer to the A because Atlas has an, a T in it, the opposite would be a ward. So if I wanted to go a ward right here, let's bring the stack backer away from the A. So we would long stick here, A gap, T gap, I'd get the bob off the edge. And then you just add a letter. If you want to go mower, now the will comes and he rushes his gap, all right? So here is Hawk money, so we're all head up. There's my long stick, there's my mic off the edge. Here is it out of a four down front. So there's your long stick. Mike is a C gap defender. All right, we have base rules. We could go D gap, different things. We play a lot of man coverage, so that we prefer the rover to own the D gap um, when possible. Again, you can cheat your nose guard. Um, we've had a pretty athletic kid, so he can be a two eye and cross the center's face pretty good. And we'll teach these kids, like if the center's sliding, you don't need to cross his face on a pass. So you can just continue to work up, you know, don't waste yourself. And here's our tackle rule. He's supposed to be a C-gap player, but he understands that the bob is there. So if it's run, all right, he's just uh, gonna rush the B. If it's pass, he's gonna have a four eye type rush to help out on contain. Here is our D-gap again. Not good, probably never gonna run this. If we did run this, I would probably tell our kid to cheat down um, to a five to do that anyway. Here is out of our bear front. So Mike C gap, the, the end works down to the A, nose works opposite. Now my tackle, all right, works to the C. Probably in this situation with the attached tight end, he would be a B gap defender, so my rover um, could there. Uh, fit the C there. Here it is with the mic walked up. So you would probably have the mic, we've never ran it this way, 
but I would probably have my mic a little bit back to allow the end of long stick, the mic to wrap around, and the nose um, to work opposite. So never done that, but there's no reason we couldn't if we wanted. Um, and then here is our six down with our backers outside. Long stick, linebacker off the edge, nose work opposite, your tackles, your four eye rusher, and then the Bob and the Will know on pass, they're dropping because money doesn't have a B or a W in the word. Here's the linebackers inside, where we get the long stick, Mike off the edge, nose across, tackle is doing his four eye rush, um, and then our backers are dropping. So then the last thing I was gonna talk to you guys about tonight is our six letter movement. So, and this is great for us because this is same as, so I say nose, tackle, Mike, Will, Bob, this is same as. The only person that changes, this is same as five letters, okay? The only person that changes is our, our end to the movement, all right? Just instead of long sticking, just short sticks to the B. So we're C gap rush, B gap player, go ops at the mic, all right, tackle. Now we have exceptions to, we have six letter words that have a T that would tell your nose to go to the rush if you want. We have some different stuff, but this is our day one stuff. We teach everyone in our program three, four, five, six letter movements on day one out of pretty much all of our fronts. Here it is out of our, our stack. The mic's off the edge, the end's a B gap player, nose opposite. Your four eye is working to the C gap. Here it is out of our broken stack, mic off the edge, end, nose cross face, our four eye. Um, and if you have any um, questions, feel free to reach out to me. I can send you film on any of this. Um, I just wanted to do more playbook stuff tonight than what I normally do, but I'm more than willing to share you whatever I have out of all these stuff. We have five years of all these cut up, all right? So here's the mic off the edge. We're head up, B gap, A gap, C gap. Here it is out of our broken stack, which we showed. Here's the, out of our, um, our D gap, D in look. So he's got to work down to the B. There's our C gap rush. Those working opposite, all right? Probably wouldn't be wanting to run this. Um, here's out of our four down. The end is our C gap player, more likely. C gap rush, end opposite. Those are cross. Our tackle is a four eye rush because there's a C gap on the player. Here's out of our bare front. So repeat makeup, bike off the edge, end, nose, tackle, Bob. Uh, one question people have asked like, what do you do if you want to drop your mic? Well, in this situation, we would call um, nut because our nose, um, and there's not an, an M, a W, or a B in the word. So these guys know that it's a three-man rush. So that's one thing that we can do. In our six-letter movement, we'll talk about target, telling the tackle that he's the B-gap player, the nose to work opposite the tackle, and our N to be the C-gap player. And the opposite of target is energy. And then again, those just words don't have M's. W's or B's. Um, and this has been a nice thing for us just because our kids are huge nerds that love math and science and they don't like people to break their rules. So if we have a good idea, we fit it into their categories and the kids memorize it and it's worked really well for us. Here's it out of our, our four down with a walked up mic. Again, the mic is the C gap rusher. The end's going to go first. Nose would cross face. Tack will be your four eye rush. And then the last two pictures down here at the bottom. Here's our orange makeup, so our linebackers are outside. Mike off the edge, end in the B, nose across, tackles a four eye, Will and Bob are dropping because their letters aren't involved. And then here is a banana, so we're setting our fruits, all right, setting it to the boundary, Mike off the edge, end underneath, nose across, tackles four eye, and then these guys drop. So right there is about, it's four plays, but it's literally 32 different ways to run that. Questions? Uh, yeah, you got two on here. So the first one was, uh, do you worry about QB contain when you're in your six down package at all? Um, no, um, we will, so we're about 50%, bring five or six, 50%, rush three or four. Uh, so, 
there are certain things that I wouldn't do in the six down. Like I'm probably not going to long stick a guy and, and not have a, a C gap defender. But a lot of times if I'm rushing four guys and I'm dropping those linebackers, we're playing our man match cover one. I, uh, it's the linebacker's fault if the quarterback scrambles because all they have is their banjo and the tailback. If they out leverage them or they get an under call. And if the tailback's not coming to them, all they're doing is watching that QB so they can add in. So not super concerned about that. Okay. And then uh, how many of these would you carry into a given week? Yeah. So we're going to carry three, four, five, six letter movements. Now, are we going to do it out of all those fronts? No. But I think the nice thing is because the kids know that, I may have planned running Falcon, Mill, the whole entire game. And we found something out of our four down front we liked, and we can just do that because the kids understand it's. And we do a lot of movement on cans, so we'll say, "Hey, here's this front." We'll say some animal in the animal kingdom, which should line us up in something we have, and then it's makeup, so everyone ends up where they need to go. So we try to bring at least um, ten three down front call, or uh, yeah, ten three down front. 10 4, um, 10 5, and 10 6 down fronts into each game at least. Um, and then we feel that within that week and within the season, we're going to practice to everything. Sweet. Uh, that's all you got for questions as of right now. All right. I'll uh, stick on here, guys. If you have any questions, you can either put it in the chat or privately message me. But it was a pleasure. Again, if you guys have um, any questions, reach out to me. I'll send you all this on film um, or whatever I have. All right.